Hey YouTube, how you doing? Well, uh, we're inside my little shack right now that I built as a little like, uh, it was originally going to be like a storage area, but now it's kind of like my work area. Uh, work area being stuff that I'd like to do leather in, um, stuff that I would like to, you know, do little crafts and stuff like that. So it's like a little work shed for me now. So anyways, uh, what I did is I purchased what's called a Nick Oso, and what it is, is it's a... Uh, it's a pulley system that reduces the speed on an industrial sewing machine. If you look behind me, uh, you can probably see it here, uh, right over here. But if you look behind me now, this is all covered up. But it, that's my industrial sewing machine. It's a Conso 1206 uh, with reverse, and I use that to sew leather. And so the machine just turns too fast. Uh, the solo setting that I've got on the machine right now is a 300 RPMs. Uh, what you do is you run it for about at a thousand RPMs or 1200 RPMs for two, three minutes. And so it gets fully oiled, all, all the parts and get fully oiled. And then you crank it down 300. But I'm having to hold the uh, pulley that's on the machine to slow it down slow enough to where I can actually uh, get a good stitch on my leather work. When I say a good stitch, I mean it's slow enough to where what I can do is I can go ahead and uh, stay within the lines I'm supposed to. If you have to go around like uh, the contour of a gun holster or something like that, it just goes so fast that you just can't do it. So I need to slow it down to where it's about one stitch every second. 60 stitches per minute would be great. Uh, one more quick little tidbit. If you look at my setup here, man, I've got hardly any light. Let me see if I turn my light on. So I've got digital lighting, but the only problem is, is that I got a plug coming in could go into a three-way splitter so I need to put a power rack up here so that way I've got power gonna do that first well I had to do all my creature comforts first had to put in my fan you can see a fan behind me uh, so now I got a fan I got a little bit of a, a power bar hooked up so that way I can plug in all whatever I want to plug in so now what we're looking at is uh, down here at the machine let me show you what I'm talking about okay, so now what I'm looking at is the machine and the pulley I'm trying to see exactly where I'd set it up let's take a look from here you can see the path that the belt takes and I've got the pulley right over here this is a nine inch wheel six inch wheel and supposedly a three inch wheel uh, so it looks about right so it's three six nine this being three to six you should reduce it by about fifty percent this being three to nine should reduce it by one third of the speed you can see that the problem is going to be is that I'm probably going to have to cut this out a little bit deeper that could be a problem because it means I'll end up having to take the machine off uh, cover my work area because there's oil in underneath this pan and then cut this out a little bit longer so that way probably more so to about here here's a look once again from underneath the machine if you look you can see uh, with the settings it goes to about 350 to zero um, and then I could move the machine over however I'm looking at where that pulley goes what I'm gonna end up having to do is just go ahead and cut that in a little bit more okay what I'm looking at now is the pan with the sewing machine off my concern is that uh, the fan might blow some stuff in there so I went ahead and turn the fan off and then I've got to put a layer of something on here to help hold all the debris out of here so I don't get stuff stuck in the machine oil so now I just gotta weigh out my line cut it out well uh, I've got my slot cut out let me show you what I did now coming over here you can see the slot uh, it ended about there originally and then I just extended my lines one thing I would highly recommend to do is you can see I got off my line a little bit but score it first I scored it this side you see there's minimal amount of chipping uh, this side I didn't score it that's where I first started because I wanted to go a little bit wider here and what ended up happening is I started to chip and then I stopped I scored it although my line went off and then I just kind of rounded it here you can see I just kind of cut in there so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and put the machine back together on the top side because pretty much this side's done um, what I got to do now is figure out my arrangement as far as my belt and the pulley attachment point and I can always just drill from up below okay. so the problem I ran into was that to be able to mount it's kind of like a tripod shaped mounting bracket for that uh, pulley system I didn't have enough space when I originally put the top on top of the, the uh, legs assembly. When you look at the assembly, I did not have this much room to be able to, and then put the pulleys on. I had to change the screws 
because the bolts that I did have were all chewed up. They're the cheap Chinese screws. They're, they're soft metal. They're junk. Uh, that's what I would suggest getting some of these from Home Depot. You only need four of them. What I did is I drilled a pilot hole first and then I put it on and it holds beautifully. So what I've got to do now is I've got to finish putting the other three on so that way I can uh, make sure the table is good and secure and then I can go ahead and mount my pulley on there and then I can work out the length of my belts. I'm underneath here right now and if you look at what I'm doing I can show you I've already got this mounted now this is your three six nine inch pulley I've already got that mounted you can see up here where I've got the bolts through it now those bolts up there that I've got are quarter inch by four inches with a quarter inch by four inch bolt my thought process was that if I wanted to as I could always build up some blocks underneath it pull it down a little bit matter of fact if I did that I could still use this belt what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this motor off I'm going to relocate these mounting points a little bit farther back uh, so that way what will end up happening is I can go ahead and line up with the nine inch pulley and then I'll just have to get one belt that goes around this nine inch pulley and that's it. Hey, how's it going again? Well, if you see, my shirt's changed. Well, it's because it's a whole nother day. I went ahead and I finished up yesterday because I needed a belt, so I had to stop. It was a good stopping point. So I stopped, had lunch, dinner, whatever. So anyways, uh, today on my way home from work, what I did is I stopped and got a belt. Now I had measured it. I put a piece of string around the pulleys unfortunately went into the pulley so I measured the mo innermost diameter the smallest diameter that could possibly be that showed to be about 31 and a half inches at about medium or the middle of my adjustment with my motor I've got very limited movement with my motor and so anyways what ended up happening I got the belt I'm going to put it on there guess what belts too small believe it or not because the belts what I found out was actually measured from the outer diameter not the inner diameter good one now I know not that I'll ever be doing it again but now I know so anyways what I did after that was that uh, I went and I took the belt that's on the machine right now I that came stock with it I put it on there and I folded it over double lapped it and then drew a little pencil mark as a, a reference line so I took that reference line measured the outer diameter of the belt came up to rather than 31 and a half inches 35 and a quarter inches well they don't make a I'm sure they probably do, but uh, AutoZone didn't happen to have a 35 and a quarter inch. They had a 35 inch and they had a 35 and a half inch. Well, I figured I was about the middle of my adjustment, quarter inch. Uh, maybe I'm off a little bit. You know, I could, I could wedge it if I needed to, yada, yada, yada. I could always make it a tad longer. It's hard to make them uh, shorter, though. So what I ended up doing, got a 35 and a half inch. Put it on there and now I'm at the very end of my adjustment and it's just right. Not too tight, whatever, so it's good. Uh, so that ended up, now the belt size is going to be totally different for you. It ended up being a 35 and a half inch belt for me, but it's totally dependent upon you where you put your holes. So going over the process, once again, you've seen some pieces on there. Um, I'm not too sure about yesterday where I cut off, but let me kind of highlight them right now. As you're looking through here, as you're looking, you can see that I had to drill the holes for the bracket to mount up to. Once again, I measured to the big pulley, it's supposed to be to the small pulley, going to the machine. Taking a look underneath here, you can see the pulley, uh, this piece right here that goes up, ended up putting a spacer block underneath there. Uh, with that spacer block, it's a three quarter inch piece of plywood. Uh, I'm gonna cut one that's a little bit better, but I wanted to get the machine running. I was able to use the stock belt. Uh, that was a nice little added bonus. Matter of fact, if I turn it a little bit, you can see one of my lines that I was using to uh, mark the belt. But anyways, so I got the pulley mounted. Then I had to take the motor off and I moved it over a little bit so it would be in line with the big pulley and then I moved it back just a little bit so that way the pulleys wouldn't be hitting each other. There's not very much clearance room. You can see there's not very much clearance room right now. But looking at the system, kind of picking these wires up. Um, it's going to be clean, more cleaned up. This is just a temporary setup, so that way I can get the machine running. I want to see what it looks like, and I don't want any of these wires getting trapped in the belt. 
Uh, the machine is on right now. It's set for roughly 350 rotations per minute. Wow, wouldn't that be perfect if it was running like that? I could, but my torque kind of, I kind of run out of torque right there. Um, even holding, I can, now, holding it, I can hold it to where the belt slips a little bit, but quite literally, actually, I like it like that because if I grab a little bit too much, the belt will maybe, I don't want it to slide, but you can see that I can stop it and the belt will still move. And it's pretty, it's actually kind of tight, but I don't want it too tight where it rolls the bearings out. Or it, I mean, it uh, destroys the bearings, but I can slow it down with my foot a little bit where it's still got a lot of torque. And then my hand also, if I need to, to make some corners. And then once again, just let it go and keep on going. That's actually a pretty good speed right there. Now that I'm all done, is it worth it? Oh yeah, now that it's all done, it's totally worth it. Uh, was it worth it while I was doing it? Pain in the butt. <laughs> um, no, actually, to be honest with you, uh, for somebody that's not really technically or mechanically uh, inclined, it might be a little bit a little bit much for you, um, but it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, what I ended up doing was just cutting the channel out a little bit more, once again, cutting the channel out a little bit more, so that way my belt could make it. You can see uh, the line here where I brought it down. The line here, once again, uh, score it. Take a knife and score it because if you don't, it's going to chip out. Then what I ended up doing was I tried to line up. I held the, the pulley up underneath it, tried to line it up to where the belt would go through and not rub on any of these edges. Unfortunately, what I did is I lined it up to the big one again, but uh, I, I just redrilled the holes and moved it over. By putting a three quarter inch spacer, I was able to drop it down far enough to where I can still reuse this belt that I got from the machine originally. So I've still got a label on it, which is really good. Then just move the motor mounts, which you can see I moved the motor mounts over a little bit. And man, that was, it's going good. I love it. I like it. This is what I wanted. Thank you for watching. I did not see a good pulley, uh, speed reducing pulley installation. I just saw some other guys that had done it um, and then talked about it. Hopefully I was able to show you some tidbits along the way. Thank you very much. Rate, subscribe, tell me what you think.